Yeah, I think so. And, uh, you know, uh, we would have liked to have gotten all four. Feel like, you know, we were in position to do that and uh, did not do that. So we still got a lot of things to go. We just, uh, you know, it very easily, just like the previous, you know, seven out of eight had gone, um, we could have won all four. We could have lost all four. So uh, it was good to see us uh, really battle back and, and you know, get uh, – make plays when we needed to make plays and find a way to win, especially, you know, the second game on Saturday really I think was – that's probably the best game I've ever been involved in uh, as a player coach, Uh, just to come back twice, uh, really three times, uh, but twice with, you know, nobody on and two outs down to your last out and one time from three runs down and uh, the other time from just a run. Uh, You know, I thought our kids showed – a lot of heart and a lot of fight, and uh, like I said, I, I believe really strongly in the character of this team, um, and uh, I think in the end uh, we're going to see that, and you know we'll we'll get where we need to be. Now you guys, Friday it was a rock'em sock'em robots type of thing. Saturday as well. I mean, it, are your kids? Do, I mean, do you do you feel you feel comfortable? Do they feel comfortable now in these type of situations? <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you're comfortable. I do think the more you're in it, uh, the more accustomed you get to it. And I mean, you know, we're just we're real accustomed to being in tight games. The the one thing that you really notice is every pitch. I mean, from the first inning till the game is over is is like seventh game of the World Series. I mean, everything hinges on that pitch, uh, and it wears on you. And I think mentally a little bit. Uh, you know we're tired, but I mean that's this type of you know time of year that that everybody gets that, and then we got some few injuries and stuff. But I think we're handling it well, and you know looking forward to going into April because uh, you know you just look at us uh, year after year after year. This we don't lose. We don't lose when we get to April, and uh, we don't plan on doing it again this year. Normally, you don't see opposing pitchers the second time around until conference tournament. Mm-hmm. tournament. Yeah. That's a good question, Randy Ward. Well done. Um, it is unusual, uh, and I think it works both ways. Uh, you know, second time they've seen us, second time we've seen them. I think generally it, that, that favors the hitters, uh, both sides, uh, more than it does the pitchers, because um, you have a you know a little bit more of a inclination of where uh, how a guy's going to pitch you. You've seen him, seen his stuff, and, and the more you can see a guy, the better. Um, so I think that's going to be really uh, interesting to see. I, I like it uh, for us because, uh, you know, hitting wise we've struggled a little bit. And so uh, we give them scouting reports that are pretty accurate, but, uh, you know, maybe having seen it with their own eyes uh, will help them uh, make adjustments better. Can you use that pitching machine? Yeah, and actually that's one thing uh, we will do. Uh, with uh, you know, this week we'll we'll put in their guys from the previous time um, where you guys can go in there and get live at bats uh, off that, and so that's a huge huge advantage we have that nobody else does. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was good. You know, it, it does get frustrating, and and he is he's done his job. You know, he he can't uh, control some things. He's done what he can control, and gone out and given us really good starts. And so it was great to see us uh, score that run there late uh, and and get him the win. And you know, like I said, he 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 threw great, struck out eleven, and definitely did not have his uh, best stuff. And so I think that really says a lot uh, about. Uh, Z and you know when you don't have your best stuff to go out and still be pretty dominant uh, says a lot about you. Well, right now with where we're at injury wise, you know Tyler went down yesterday and he, you know, we'll see. Hopefully Troy Hill's good, uh, so hopefully he can get him. Him and Ronnie can get him back healthy, uh, you know, hopefully this weekend. But uh, our hope is just really get him back before the season because it, it doesn't look good. Um, and Nawan's out, uh, you know, for a couple weeks here too. So uh, that is uh, 40% of our run production right there sitting on the bench and uh, from from a team that's not tearing it up uh, offensively. So 
a lot of that uh, responsibility and stuff, I mean, you know, is going to be shouldered on on Christian a little bit. But uh, he's up to the task and challenge, and he's he's definitely uh, capable of carrying us here for however long without those guys. And so it's good we've got somebody that can do that, and uh, I think he will personally. Uh, awful night. Yeah, I was told to make sure I mentioned this. Friday night is awful night. We play Cameron at 630. Uh, it's a, a good promotion that uh, Bront Rut- Rutledge, uh, our promotion czar here at ASU, uh, sort of came up with. I think they're giving out uh, free air guitars to the first 500 people. Uh, you know, got some good music. I think you can uh, you feel free to tweet me uh, suggestions. I'll get those to the right people. Uh, and then, uh, and then actually, too, the the good part is I think Kate Upton's been invited to throw out the first pitch. So uh, I don't know who she is, but I've heard she's famous. So get to see her Friday. I do not. I'm not real musically inclined. Yes. A song for Awful Night or for just anything? I would say Crazy Train, uh, Randy Rhodes on guitar for uh, Ozzy Osbourne. That's a, that's a good one. 